What's going on, everyone? Welcome to the channel. This is Backtrack Cinema, and my name is Jason, and welcome to my 31 Days of Horror for the month of October. And today, we are talking about my favorite creature feature, which is The Thing. You cannot go wrong with John Carpenter's The Thing from 1982 as your favorite creature feature. And there's plenty, right? I mean, you could say The Fly is a creature feature. You could say The Blob is a good creature feature. Tremors, critters, you know, fun, fun. Night of the Creeps, you could say. Maybe that's more of a zombie film. Space and zombie kind of mix, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I love The Thing. I've been watching. The Thing has been, you know, one of my favorite movies for as long as I can remember, ever since I was a little kid. I came to this one like maybe, you know, eight, eight or nine years old. And But as a kid, I just thought it was such a cool movie because of all those practical effects. You know what I mean? And I love Kurt Russell. I mean, Kurt Russell, besides Stallone, Kurt Russell is probably my second favorite um, actor or at least that an actor in that genre. You know what I mean? It's a great dissection into paranoia and who you can you trust. And if you have a thing that can imitate anything, how do you know the person next to you is not the thing? So it creates a real sense of fucking dread and it creates this paranoia that is just like, just imagine that concept. Imagine that was happening to you. You'd be going crazy uh, up here. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna have a nice little short discussion on the thing. So comment down below your thoughts on the thing, and we'll have a great discussion in those comments. And you know, like the video, share it around, all that stuff. Put a lot of work into these thirty-one days of horror, guys. So whatever you can do to bump the likes up, you know. Anything you can do at all, you know, share it on your social medias, whatever. I would really appreciate it. So the thing's based on this old um, short story, science fiction short story called Who Goes There? There's an old 50s movie, black and white, the thing that I haven't seen in like de a long, long time. And then John Carpenter decides to reimagine it. You know what I mean? And then they did a prequel to this one. And that's pretty good, too. Other than, you know, the... The last minute changes and they CGI'd the hell out of it. But for story wise and everything, they, they did a pretty good job of honoring John Carpenter's The Thing. The Thing, man, this just this concept of this thing, I've always loved. It's always been one of my favorite creatures for that. Like this organism that, you know, assimilates other organisms, doesn't matter what it is, and changes its cells to make it look like that organism. And Fucking scary, man. The taglines of this thing, you know, man is the warmest place to hide. Man, what a great tagline. And, you know, and, and that's that's it's actually got a huge weakness when it's when it's thinging out, when it's freaking busting through freaking bodies and everything like that. And it's, you know, the creature is going crazy and everything. It is vulnerable. It only needs you know, fire to really kill it. You know what I mean? Or at least stop it for a while. You know what I mean? So but when it's hiding amongst other people or amongst other things it's freaking dangerous because it creates that paranoia it's you know we defeat ourselves really don't we we defeat ourselves and then the way they expose the thing with the blood test thing i is incredible what a, the, that's how you do a jump scare john carpenter understands you know how to do a jump scare where kurt russell keeps putting the hot needle to the blood one doesn't work another doesn't work he ends up killing a uh, a Clark, the guy with the dogs. You know, he didn't end up being the thing. So he's he's pushing it and pushing it and pushing it and go. Okay, obviously none of them. Then bang, Palmer's the thing, and he starts going fucking crazy and everything. You know, I always loved the blood test thing. It was just pretty crazy stuff. We'll do you last. And Rob Bottin's practical effects, man. I mean, this guy just. This guy suffered from exhaustion, was spent time in the hospital because of this movie, man. He worked so hard on these practical effects. I mean, my personal favorite moment, actually, is probably the dog kennel scene. There's so many great moments, but I just absolutely love that dog kennel scene. And this is the way it's shot, where we haven't really seen the th this thing thing out. We, there's something crazy about the dog, and then the dog's face cracks open and starts assimilating the other dogs. And when they all start coming in and everything... The way Carpenter shoots it, you know, it swings the camera around. Here comes Kurt Russell telling everyone to wait. And then we see the dog thing thinging out and screaming and everything. And 
Um, like a fly trap coming out of itself and it busts open and it's this all this slimy organic freaking stuff and they are just freaking man they just can't believe what they're seeing and Kurt Russell blasted the thing away great scene man absolutely great scene and this is where they do an autopsy on it trying to find out what this thing is and that's you know Blair finds out what this thing is and he uh he ends up going freaking crazy out of paranoia and then he ends up getting getting assimilated by the thing, but you don't know who the thing is. And I like how Carpenter keeps us guessing all the time. It's like, well, we're, we're feeling what the characters are feeling, right? And Kurt Russell playing McCready is like a guy who just wants to get drunk all the time, and just be left alone. I like his leadership, how he just kind of pulls everyone together, even though he doesn't really want to, right? You know, he's not scientific. He's the pilot and all that, but it, someone's got to make decisions. Someone's got to decide, okay, we got to, we got to deal with this thing. And at the end, you know, we're not getting out of this, but either is that thing, because if that thing ever gets into a populated area, just imagine what would happen, which I think in the future, if they, if they try to do another thing movie again, I don't see, I think that'd be pretty cool to see the thing in a populated area. Cause you could still create a sense of paranoia. You know what I mean? Depending what setting you take it to, but you imagine the thing getting into a populated area like a, like a city or something. Wow. I think that would make for a great film. And it's got this really strong supporting cast. You know what I mean? All the characters are likable. They feel real. I mean, none of these characters are, are, are going to be models on the fucking runway. These are grizzled, worn down characters that feel like they're up at an Antarctica outpost. Like, you just forget these are actors, and it's another reason why the film can work so well. The way Dean Cundy sets that lighting, Carpenter sets the mood, very, like, dimly lit, I would say, because they're up at an outpost where it would be, right? The contrast of the shadows and light, especially when they go to the burnt the Norwegian camp, when they're walking through and the windows have been bust open, and you just see rays of light coming in, and the blues, and the just the contrast. The contrast is really, really good. A real heartbeat on the movie is that score, man. That bum bum. Bum 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 bum. Bum bum. It's like, to me, it sounds like an ir irregular heartbeat. It almost sounds like it's supposed to be the heartbeat of the thing. It's got this slow driving pulse that really sets the tone. It's got, it sets that mood. You know what I mean? The mood and atmosphere is created by your cinematography. It's created by your music. You know what I mean? So um, great job on this score. It's just a, a magnificent score to this film. Just how crazy and wild things get. I talked about the kennel scene, the dog kennel scene, but the defibrillator scene. I forget what character it is who has the heart attack. And then the doc tries to freaking juice him up. You know what I mean? And it goes right through him. He was the thing. The freaking the choppers chomp on his freaking hands. And then there's those practical effects and the one-liners in it. You know, when Palmer goes, you got to be fucking kidding me when he sees the freaking spider and everything. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's it's not supposed to be funny, but you just get this one-liner at the end of all this. You know what I mean? And I, I love the beginning where, where Kurt Russell's playing chess and he's just like, it, it makes a move on him. And he's just like, you cheating bitch. He throws his drink into the hard drive. And there's lots of times of the year that I want to watch this movie, clearly in the winter. And the winter is a great time to watch this movie, especially where I live in Canada, where we get snowstorms. We'll get two to three feet of snow sometimes. You know what I mean? And that's the kind of time I'm putting the thing on. But also in October, you know, when I'm going through all the horror movies I want to watch in October, the, the thing definitely is going on there because of the creature feature aspect of it, but that paranoia. Throughout this movie, man, you're, you're just like it, the paranoia gets so high and then people are sneaking off and, you know, maybe he's the thing. And there's people panicking like Windows when he starts freaking panicking. You know what I mean? He doesn't trust anybody and no one could trust anybody. And it's just that's what it's all about, man. The, 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 the Carpenter's just dissecting paranoia and how scary that really can be. You know what I mean? This fantastic. But well, thanks for joining me, guys, on just having a little discussion about The Thing. Comment down below. Tell me what you think of The Thing. Go down the rabbit hole. Wait for the end card. I'll put other related content up. And yeah, what a blast this was talking The Thing with you guys. 
My name is Jason. You're watching Backtrack Cinema. I will see you next time, and I will see you in the movies. Cheers.